Hello guys, welcome back to Analog IAS Economy Prelims 2020 special and the topic for today is Bond Yields. In the previous videos, we have seen what is the difference between a bond and a share. So basically, a bond is nothing but a fixed income instrument. Now what is a fixed income instrument? It is nothing but a loan made by an investor to a borrower. So for example, if the government or a corporate entity wants money, it will issue a paper called a bond and in return it will promise a certain amount of interest it is the simplest explanation of a bond now bonds will be of two kinds in a market we'll have corporate bonds and we'll have government bonds so government has less risk of failing so there is low return involved in this government bonds now corporates have high risk but they also promise high returns say for example a company like Tata or Reliance will definitely offer better interest rate than government bonds. So we can say that corporate bonds are high risk and government bonds are low risk. Now what do you mean by a bond yield? As per definition, it is simply the effective rate of return on investment. Say for example, you invested 100 rupees on a bond and it is giving 10% interest per annum. So this 10% interest that is 10 rupees is the yield that you will be getting on this particular bond. But in a market since these bonds are continuously traded we can say that the rate of return is not fixed. So basically it changes with the bond price that is the most important point that you have to note. Let us try to understand what coupon payment in a bond means. For example imagine this to be the bond of 10 years. So the value imagine in this case 100 rupees is the value of the bond. So the buyer of this bond will give the government 100 rupees and buy this bond. In return the government will pay him as per the interest given on this coupon say for example 10 rupees. So year on year upon the submission of this coupon he would be getting 10 rupees every year depending upon how many number of coupons are attached to this bond. In that way he would be getting some amount of interest for the investment paid and the company or in this case the government will be using this money for infrastructure development or whatever projects. So this is the concept of bond and the yield here is 10 rupees every year. Now the concept that we have to understand is why do bond yields go up and down. Say for example in an economy the GDP is going down continuously meaning the share market or the companies, corporate companies are not doing good business and therefore the investors who are only interested in short term profit will find that share markets are plunging so they want to change from these high risk corporate companies to a low risk investment like government securities. But the government securities are very limited in number so obviously the government securities demand will rise up. So since the demand is rising, obviously the person who bought the bond from government at 100 rupees would not be willing to sell it at anything less than 100 rupees. Obviously would be wanting some sort of profit. So he would sell this government security at say 110 rupees. Say for example, for the bond that he bought, there were 10 coupons attached, meaning that this is a 10 year bond. He would have encashed say 2 years. So the person who is buying this at 110 rupees and already losing out on 2 coupons would be obviously not getting the same kind of money that the person A got. So we can say that the return on the investment made by the person B in this case will come down. So therefore we can say the yield of the bond came down in the case of person B. So this is the link, whenever an economy performs badly, the yield of the government securities comes down. So we can say that the bond yield is inversely proportional to a bond price. I repeat, whenever the bond prices increase, the yield will decrease. Whenever the bond price decreases, the yield will increase. That is the central concept of bond yield. Last year, in August 2019, the US government bond yields fell very sh sharply. So the global economy has been slowing down from the last two years. Some of the biggest economies 
are either growing at a slower rate for example us china they are growing at a very slower rate or actually contracting as you can see in the case of germany so in this context we have to see that in august 2019 us treasury bond yields fell very sharply because there was a rise in demand for government securities now you can understand that in a capitalist economy like us if the yield for government securities is increasing its corporate bond market is doing badly and this is a sign of slowdown in an economy however note a point here we have already spoken that government securities or the loan taken by the government there is lesser risk of defaulting on this loan government will somehow pay back the loan taken so there is lower risk involved here and therefore the returns given by the government is also very low when you compare it with a corporate entity so in this context can we say that the yield of the government bond is always lower than a corporate bond not necessarily because if a particular economy is doing well obviously nobody would want to invest in government securities that gives lower returns so the yield will be much more because people who want liquidity during a good economy boom phase would want money in their hands and they would be willing to sell this government securities even at a lower cost than the 100 rupees bond that they bought for so for liquidity management they might sell it and they will compensate the loss with the interest they have already earned so that is how in normal times government securities would be sold so yield will be higher for a person who bought that bond at a price less than 100 rupees so he would still be getting 10% say for example the person bought a bond for 100 rupees and is willing to sell it at 95 rupees because he wants liquid cash immediately to invest in say a better performing corporate bond so in this case the person who is buying this 95 rupees is actually still getting 10% interest so that is higher yield also so we cannot always say that the returns on government security or the yield is always less than a corporate bond that is a false notion but in the times of recession say in this present case when covid 19 crisis popped up many economists were predicting that a recession would be staring at us so obviously no investor would want to invest in a high risk environment and put their money in corporate entities so they would obviously run towards government securities so the demand for government securities will increase and the bond prices will grow up so this will reduce the yield of the government bond so this is the concept of bond yield